Hi. Uh, sorry, my computer is getting a little slow today. Uh, trying, trying to get the uh, stupid webcam to work. Uh, but I'm here, and I'm going to sh share some scripture with you. Um, it's from the book of um, Second Peter, um, chapter 3, um, starting with verse 14. Therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace, without spot and blameless, and consider that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, has written to you. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things that are hard to understand, which untaught and unstable people twist to their own destruction, as they do also the rest of the scriptures. Now, the um, thing I want to talk about um, in, in this video is what, what Peter said about um, Paul's letters, which can also be applied to um, the rest of Scripture in itself, all 66 books. That There are some things in Scripture that are hard to understand, like... Um, like prophetic utterances and um, some things that Jesus himself taught um, in the Gospels and um, even the book of Revelation itself which is a chock full of um, visual imagery that's um, <laughs> that, 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 that's basically take taken um, students years to um, decipher and nobody seems to get it right. Anyway, it's, a, it's okay for the um, Word of God to have things that, that are hard to understand. I mean, even if you have um, spiritual enlightenment, um, you're still going to puzzle over those things. I mean, that's why um, Psalm says that we meditate on the Word of God um, day and night. And um, it it's interesting to pu puzzle on these things because. Um, <laughs> These are the mysteries that um, God, God wants us to contemplate over. Um, you, I mean, we're not going to get everything right the first time we read Scripture. I mean, so if you're having trouble um, with certain parts of Scripture that you don't understand, I might suggest a um, Bible commentary or a study Bible to help help you out with some of those things. I mean, there are men of God who um, ba basically spend their lives um, studying the scriptures to um, ferret out the um, information um, that are contained in the scriptures. And if all. Uh, if all else fails, pray. I mean, there's nothing wrong with praying for wisdom. I mean, Book of James says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, gives it generously without, without um, finding fault, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, because he who doubts will, will not receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. So, don't be afraid of the, some things that are hard to understand in Scripture. God will reveal it to you when, when the time is right. And I will leave you on this note. So, have a good day, and God bless you.